Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Ride Selectors. And today I'm doing a pickup video. Games that I've picked up over the Christmas break, games that I picked up early on in January, games of galore and games that were given to me. Without further ado, the Sega Dreamcast, as many of you know, is one of my favorite consoles of all time. And I'm going for a complete North American set. That requires me to get some of the lackluster games that you need for a complete set. The Sega Dreamcast has 248 games without variances in total in its library. And I'm sitting at about 174. So I still have about, I believe 74 if my math's correct. A lot of the heavy hitters I already have and I'm missing just a little bit, maybe the 10, $20 games. And Danny gave me one of the greatest bits of news that I've had in a long time. I'm gonna be a godfather to his newborn daughter. So with that being said, he gave me Championship Surfer, Spec Ops Omega Squad, Poster Works, and Hoyo Casino. All games that are cleaned up in really good condition. I have to do a little bit of maybe a case swap on one or the two, and I'm gonna add them directly to the wall. The next two Dreamcast games, one of which I had when I was a kid, and that's Carrier and Virtual On, which is a fighting game that allows you to use a peripheral to go into battle with. I unfortunately don't have this peripheral. It's something maybe I'm on the outlook for. You don't necessarily need it, but it does help playing it. Now onto the next big lot of games that I got, and that's for the Nintendo Switch. Just Dance 2019, my kids do enjoy it. I've played it on the Wii with them and you know I do bust a move I imagine that but this is a game that my kids do love they just got it yesterday and they love this game they're playing a lot of their you know their pop music that they listen on the radio and being able to dance alongside of it was uh you know icing on the cake for them Mario Party I play this with my daughters and I do love it uh, right now I only have two controllers so with the two of them I have to alternate between who I play against it is a fun game I'm not very big into Mario Party games I understand the purpose of them and play as a family together but it does wear on pretty thin my kids are very competitive when it comes to it so they do kind of pout when they do lose but it's a fun game nonetheless uh not my cup of tea but it does serve a purpose for me to play against them this is the biggest game on the list and that's smash bros i'm playing through it right now i'm on the world of light and i'm on the second half of it if you haven't played it sorry for the spoilers but it is a good game again not my cup of tea I never really got into Smash Bros. I played a little bit of on the N64 when I had it, and I played a little bit on the Wii with Smash Brothers Brawl. There is a very big community, and I find it's just progressing way too slow. You're just doing the same battles over and over again, especially in the world of light. Like right now, I'm using Little Mac and a few of the spirits that make him so overpowered. Literally matches end in seconds. I literally power up, bang, it's over, and that's, you know, that's, going on to the next one. It's all right, I'm sure if I play with a few people or even took it online, I don't have the online and I'm not planning on getting online for the Nintendo Switch. This is solely for my kids to play and you know do couch co-op together. So they're not into it and right now it's kind of dwindling on me as well. And last but not least, which I've yet to steal and that's Fire Emblem Warriors. It's much like Legend of Zelda Warriors where you're actually, you know, a hack and slash. If you guys haven't played any of the Dynasty Warriors franchise, it's a hack and slash game that has countless enemies on screen, but it features the Fire Emblem's characters. I have yet to open it because I'm in the middle of like three or four Switch games and I don't want to open another one and then install it and then not get a chance to play with it. So I want to play this game when I get around to doing it, there's a few games, like I said, on that list of games that I want to finish first and then start a new one. So if I haven't played it. I don't know anything about it. If you guys let me know in the comments down below, if it's a good game, if it's worth my time, I paid, I think $9 at EB games and it was for the price alone worth it for me because it was reduced from $79 down to $9.99 for the reason being that nobody ever bought it. And for $9, who could pass that up? And last but not least, my VHS collection isn't something very big. I only have maybe four or five movies. And when Danny asked me to be the godfather to his child, he got me a VHS, which when I opened, I my eyes lit up. And that's Superman the movie. I absolutely love this franchise. Uh, I, I'm like, Superman's my favorite character. And uh, Christopher Reeves being my favorite Superman, he's the Superman I grew up with. And having this on VHS, unfortunately I don't have a VHS player, which doesn't get me very far, but I do have it on DVD. and. This is an added little bit to my Superman collection and my comic book section of my basement. And adding this to the, the collection was an added bonus. And for the reason alone, 
why he got it for me is icing on the cake. Well, that's what I picked up for the month of January. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys picked up any Switch games and what games have you picked up. Let me know if Fire Emblem's Warriors is any good and drop that in the comments down below. Thanks, guys.